Now let's go over each waveform on the EKG. The P wave represents depolarization of both atriums. Its normal width is less than 120 milliseconds, or three little boxes. Its normal height is no more than 2.5 millimeters. In fact, if you look at the P wave more closely, it could theoretically be split up by both right atrial depolarization, which occurs first, and followed by left atrial depolarization. The PR interval then follows. It starts at the onset of the P wave and ends at the onset of the QRS complex. It is normal between 120 to 200 milliseconds, or 3 to 5 boxes. The QRS interval then follows. It represents ventricular depolarization. Its normal width is less than or equal to 100 milliseconds, or less than or equal to 2.5 boxes. The T wave represents ventricular repolarization. On a normal EKG, it is always positive, except in AVR, where it is negative, and in V1, where it may be positive, negative, or biphasic.